Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome here if you are new. So y'all see what I have going on here. It is a sleigh and it is a laid ass install. So if you guys want to see how I got this look step by step, keep on watching. Okay loves, first thing first, we're going to need our got to be glue gel to slick back our edges because we do not want those to be snatched away or in the way of the bald cap method. So I'm going to slick those back and take my edge brush and brush those back 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 <laughs> So I'm also blow drying the hairs back so that it can dry faster because this gel is wet and it will interfere with our bald cap. So I'm going to take my cap now, stretch that out and also stretch it out on my head so that I can fit nice and snug, <laughs> nice and snug and lay flat on my head. This step basically helps with allowing the cap to lay flat when it comes to the ear tabs so um yeah also makes it more comfortable when doing the bald cap steps but yeah so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to take my got to be glue spray and i'm going to do two layers of this and also blow dry it on warm i believe it really doesn't matter the temperature that you do so i don't really pay attention to the temperature that i use but just know that it's blow being blow dried and dried quickly <laughs> When cutting off the cap, all I do is glide the scissors along my natural hairline, really eyeballing my hairline so that I can cut it as near and as realistic as possible. I'm applying leftover makeup from tinting the lace on my cap, but I did go in again with applying more, like actually taking more product. And I was using the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. This is the color that I used. Um, yeah, so I just applied more just to add more pigment because it wasn't really giving. Now I'm taking my Acifro 70% alcohol to clean off that excess makeup around the skin before I apply the wig. I did go in and pluck the hairline as it did needed it very much. <laughs> no, not very much, but that is the hair as well fluffed out and combed out from plucking and all that good stuff. That is the inside construction of the wig. And this is the glue that we will be using. <laughs> I'm taking a, what you call it? What do you call that? Popsicle stick, which I found at my local beauty supply store. And this step is basically just to further melt the bod cap. Okay, I'm not actually melting the lace yet, but... I'm using this to further lay down the cap. Using this step will really help you get that nice flat and seamless look. So I'm taking my hot comb as well once the wig is on my head. And this basically helps with really seeing where you pluck the hairline before you actually melt the lace down. I cut off my ear tabs before I melt down the lace because it just makes it more comfortable and easier to see. I'm cleaning off my skin for a second time to really ensure that this glue does not have to deal with any oils, makeup, none of that while we melt this lace. So the glue that I'm using is Beautiful Hustler Lace Melt Adhesive. And this is my first time trying this. I told you I was going to try a new glue soon and here I am trying the new glue. I really did like it, okay? I really did. It didn't really give much of a difference from my bold hold. I mean, not my bold hold, my Ghost Bond Classic, which is the very a very cheap kind of glue. But nevertheless, this glue did work 
really well i like the way it dried i will say that i did like that a lot more compared to the ghost bond classic but as far as the melt and as far as the longevity it was giving the same i don't know if it's because of the method that i use because i do do <laughs> because i do use a lot of layers but yeah overall i liked the glue it did what it needed to do it gave what it was supposed to gave but yes yeah, so here i'm just doing these repetitive steps of applying the glue to the cap and my skin so i did about six layers or five if it was five or six it really don't matter because five is just i mean six is just one more but <laughs> six is just one more than five. Oh my gosh i cannot talk but yeah Either way, I did a good amount of layers for this wig to melt the way it should. So I'm just doing that, spreading around that glue. And as you can see, I don't take a lot. I take a good amount, but I don't take a whole lot because really spreading the glue a certain way helps with kind of moving it around. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, you got to really know how to spread that glue out evenly so that it can melt evenly, if you get what I'm saying. After I press that glue into the lace, I take a fine tooth comb and my blow dryer on warm and I um, just smooth it out. As you can see, this is kind of self-explanatory. You see what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain that, but you see it. I'm also taking my hot comb to further melt that lace and then I'm going to take my elastic band and wrap that on up. Actually, no, I'm not doing, I'm not wrapping it up first. Oh, yes, I did. I lied. <laughs> I did wrap it up. Okay, let me stop talking. As you can see, I'm making the part for the, um, I like to do a deep side part because this was a 13 by 6 lay. So, of course, I'm going to do a deep side part. Like, why wouldn't I? But, yeah. The key to really getting the flat installs, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, is using the hot comb repeatedly. Like, when you do it over and over and over again, even though it's really repetitive, it works wonders. But, yeah, that's the part. And now I am getting ready to cut off the lace. So I'm using this razor and I'm just gliding that in a zigzag kind of motion down my hairline. Boom. And I'm doing that same thing on the other side. I'm taking a little bit of my glue again to further melt down this lace because it did not get every little piece, which is okay. Like that's normal. You just got to go back and finesse and really melt that lace to the T. <laughs> I'm also taking my got to be glue spray and further melting the lace this way. And after this, I will be laying the lace again with my elastic band now i did do this step because the lace is in hd and when it's not hd it kind of doesn't give skin the way that it should now that i have had hd lace i know what it should look like <laughs> in a way like how the lace should melt and i don't know what kind of lace this was right at this moment but i do know that it just wasn't hd so i did have to do some further steps to get this melted now this step that i'm doing right now is because i wanted the side part to look really like sleek and not really poofy because this hair was a high density which nothing wrong with that we love the high density we love the volume but yeah i just wanted the side part to be really flat so i'm taking my hot comb and i'm just using sections as you can see to further lay down this part and i'm also using bio silk oil just a little bit on this step further towards the top
Okay, but now it's giving HD melt. Y'all see it? Okay, and now it is time for the baby hairs. So I'm just combing out the hairs. This part is really kind of self-explanatory. So I'm not going to do too much talking here. Y'all know how I do when it's time for baby hairs. I don't do too much talking because it's really just to watch like i'm a really i'm really a visual learner but i know that talking also helps with baby hairs it's i can't explain this y'all just have to watch so um yeah let's get into it i will say this though if you're curious why i flat iron and why it's a new thing to flat iron the baby hairs and basically curl them with your flat iron is because it gives the edges a more fluffy and baby hair like look because yeah back then i know that this step really would have been probably good to use because i don't know it just gives a different kind of vibe like it really does like it looks a lot more natural like no cap like if i wasn't to do this step they would look really stringy if that makes sense which wasn't bad clearly because that's what everybody was doing but now this is the new way this is the new method and i advise you guys to do it <laughs> I also like to blow dry my baby hairs because it just makes them last longer to where I don't have to redo them every goddamn day and every other day. They really stay in place.
This last step is also very self-explanatory. I'm just styling the hair using Watcher in this spray bottle to get the hair nice and wet. And also using this product here, which is really freaking good. It was $14, but it definitely did what it needed to do. And I really liked it. I needed to invest in some good stuff for my curls to really make them pop. And it did just that. So here I'm applying Bio Silk Oil to just further add shine to the hair. And I also like to add them to my baby hairs because it makes them look nice and shiny and just done up. Like, y'all should really start doing this. Like, add a little bit of oil to your baby hairs because it makes them look really shiny and just salon fresh. But um, yeah, I'm going to take my hot comb to this to further press that out, press in that oil, and we're done. Like, okay, we're not done quite yet because I do need to do this one last step, which is adding concealer. Actually, psych, adding our slick stick. I'm ahead of myself. Slick stick to the hair just to further make it nice and flat because y'all know these steps are necessary to make your wig look really flat like y'all can't skip none of this like use your slick stick use your oil use a hot comb and you'll be set but um yeah so i'm using my hot comb to press that in as well and now i'm taking my concealer which is just the concealer don't brain don't even matter just use a concealer that is close to your scalp color if that makes sense not necessarily not necessarily your hairline but your scalp color and i'm just gliding that along and here is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed because i definitely did enjoy doing this install make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye